that's put in their way today. This referee is an absolute joke. Here we go, back again. It's Saturday. You know what it is? It's match day vlog time, and Sunderland welcome Lincoln City to the Stadium of Light for this 3 pm kickoff. And can Sunderland get into second place? So it's Saturday morning. I've come out for a quick half an hour run just to blow the cobwebs away. I was up decorating very late last night, so I'm a little bit tired. So it won't be an out and about too far vlog today. Just a quick one, a quick runabout to let you know what the score is. The score is going to be today. I'm going for a 2 0 home victory. Touch wood, a 2 0 home victory in Sunderland with Lee Johnson and continue this fantastic run of form. Let's try and get past the mud. Let's hope today Lincoln Dawn pause too many obstacles. Let's hope Sunderland can clear every obstacle that's put in their way today. Let's not kid ourselves, Lincoln are a force to be reckoned with and are having an absolutely fantastic season. And I hope Sunderland and Lee Johnson's team will get the right balancing act. Oh today. <laughs> that was absolutely rubbish. An absolutely beautiful day today. Beautiful day. What a wonderful day. It is an absolutely amazing day. It would have been a great day to have a have a round of golf. I'm down by near Ramside and I do believe, I'm sure, and I've been told, but not 100% certain that Aidan McGeady just live up there somewhere at Ramside. And under Phil Parkinson's guidance and Stuart Donald, Aidan McGeady couldn't see the wood for the trees because he was put in isolation. But since, since Lee Johnson's came into the fold and took over as coach, Aidan McGeady now sees the light at the stadium of light and has been one of the best players, if not the best player, under Lee Johnson's guidance. Now Lee Johnson's given McGeady a second chance. McGeady now can see a clear path all the way to success at Sunderland and hopefully get us promoted back to the Championship. Now, yes, he's been one of the better players. Charlie White's been outstanding. Luke O'Neill's been great. Lee Burge is on fire at this moment in time. Great goalkeeping keeping skills. But it's a whole team collectiveness that's doing a good job at the moment. We're getting seven out of eight victories in one draw. That form is winning promotion form. But we need to keep this going for the last 12 games of the season. And like I said, let's see a clear path to the top of the table. But Lincoln the day. Lincoln have been an absolute awesome side this season doing absolutely brilliant until the last few weeks so they will be a force to be reckoned with and we cannot take Lincoln lightly because they are a difficult side and it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if they put up a fantastic performance today and turn Sunderland over but I hope we don't I hope we don't I hope the, the path is going to be straight now to the top of the table and as Sunderland fans we don't want to see any players do badly at Sunderland we have all we're all individuals we're all individuals we all have opinions. My opinion does, is, is never right. Other people's opinions are not always right. But yes, oh, somebody playing golf course, close. But yes, we all have our own opinions. I respect your opinion. And if you don't want to respect mine, I don't give a shit. But at the end of the day, my favourite player this season has been Luke Owen 9 been obviously Charlie Wags improved dramatically and has made an impact. It's been massive at Sunderland. And like I said before, Aidan McGeady, I wish him all the best. He's come to the twilight end of his career and he's been, you know, nothing less than brilliant in the in the, the the nine games eight games that we've been unbeaten in this league since the shrewsbury match now for me today this is what's wrong with the world today someone has taken a wheelie bin in the middle of nowhere and just dumped it full of sticks and left it here to rot what is the point of that it's absolutely pointless that is waste of money them cost 35 pound each and people like that make me absolutely sick Right, here we go. I'm going to Asda. I need to get a bit of essential shopping and a little something to drink while watching the live stream this afternoon. I've never been to this Asda for a long time. It's only about five miles away from where I live, so, you know, it's, it's within the, the legal restrictions to go to the local big supermarket. And Asda, yes, Asda. I forget what the slogan is for the Asda, for the Asda adverts. Every little helps. Every little helps, that's Asda's slogan, every little helps. Here we are in the big Asda car park. This Asda is absolutely humongous. It sells everything you could possibly want and at half the price of Sainsbury's, probably anyway. 
there's a guy doing his trolley shopping. No, no, he's just packing up the trolleys. I was in the, I was at the shop the other week as well, and that one of the trolley guys pushing trolleys, he was singing six in a row. No idea why he was singing that six in a row. It was a totally random thing to sing. But never mind, maybe he's just a Sunderland fan. Obviously, he's a Sunderland fan. Right, here we're going to go into Asda. I need a little bit of bread. I need a little bit of freezer stuff and a bit of milk. And then, obviously, I need a little bit of a light refreshment. I got me bread, I got me milk, and I got some nice cans for this afternoon's live stream. And there's a McDonald's on the right down, right down side, the right hand side. I haven't been to McDonald's for a long time, and uh, like, it's one of those places you go on once a year, just when you, you fancy something a little bit different, a little bit naughty, and a bit nasty sometimes. But yes, we're coming out of Asda now. I'm gonna quickly pop and post off my brother-in-law's birthday card because it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Rudy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Rudy Ovington. And enjoy your stew. I've just been to Asda for me a little bit of a sense of shopping. And now I've popped past. I've just seen me nephew and Piggly kicking about. Daniel, how are you doing? I'm good. You're I'm good? good. I think Sunderland will win and I think we'll win 3-1 um, Sunderland are going to win 3-1? Yeah. Who's going to score? White will get two of them and McGeady will get one of them Who's your favourite player this season? White definitely White And what's your YouTube yeah. channel called Dan? Dan SAFC so Dan right. SAFC But your phone's a bit broken at the moment yeah, so when we, get, so when we go back to the grounds get back to the matches you'll do vlogs won't you? Yeah Right no bother take care see you later Dan Danny, come here, come here, Dan, come back, come back. Before you go, it's your dad's birthday, isn't it, today? Yeah. How old's your dad? 58. 58. Happy birthday, my brother-in-law, Rudy. I hope you enjoy watching Sunderland, even though... What team does he support? Um, Newcastle. Newcastle? He supports Newcastle? <laughs> he doesn't really support Sunderland, doesn't he? Nice. Nah, he's, uh, he's a bit of both. A bit of both, okay, a bit of both. He's not really that interested in football, is he? No, all right. I hope it's a good birthday. See you later, Dan. Bye. Go on, scram. Yeah. Scram. See ya. Oh, God's sake. Bloody... Whoa. Jesus Christ. Right. We'll put that at the place and we'll get right that right there. Right. <clears throat> so, just getting back from Asda. And the match is finished. It's finished Sunderland 1, Lincoln City 1. And Sunderland have dropped two points or have they gained a point. Other matches today have finished Rochdale 3, Peterborough 3 and also it's finished Shrewsbury 1 and Hull City 1. So today's team news was... Burge was in goal, McLaughlin, Sanderson 09, McFadzine, Power Winchester, Lepida, Gooch, Wyke and McGeady. As you can see, I popped it as the a bit of essential shopping, posted a birthday card and I did get some Heineken. The parts of the beers do not reach. So some of them have drawn 1-1 one, one with Lincoln in the day. And if you look on the bigger scales of things, Peterborough dropped a point, two points against a Rochdale time team bottom of the table. Hull City have dropped two points against the Shrewsbury side bottom of the table but Sunderland have dropped two points against fourth place Lincoln. So the today's result was better for Sunderland. We all drew, we all got one point, we're no different to we were before kickoff kicked in but we played against a good side, a Lincoln side that was determined to get back in the form of the year. And Credit where credit's due. Lincoln the day for me just shaded it. They were the better side. They had the better chances. And if it wasn't for my man of the match, Lee Burge, we would have been beaten. Lee Burge today was man of the match. And we'll go through. Yes, we'll go through a couple of players' ratings today. Now I thought the players today, you know, we've had a lot of games. A lot of big matches and they've done really well. Eight out of nine wins in the last nine matches. One draw. Playing against a good side today. So, end of the day, I'm happy with the draw. I am because Lincoln, for me, were the better side. We did get a goal through McFadzine. Great bit of play from Gooch by the corner flag. 
and he got the ball, he lost the ball, coming to back to power, power, great ball in the box, and it came down to Matt Fadzain, who headed the ball, flush in the bottom right-hand side corner of the goal. Great finish to Matt Fadzain. So well done, Matt Fadzain. Good goal. 1-0 to Sunderland. Second half, we huffed and puffed. Lincoln were the better side for me. Lincoln did have the better opportunities, were wanting to give more, did look fitter, did look fresher than Sunderland, and they got the due equaliser, they got the ball over the top, you know, Luke Owen 9 is not a defender, I'm not going to criticise him, but the player did skin Luke Owen 9, got the ball and finished it past Lee Burge. Lee Burge couldn't have saved that. So the day Lee Burge made some great saves, I'm giving Lee Burge a solid 10. No, no, I won't. We'll give him a 9, he let a goal in, even though the goal wasn't his fault, you can't get a 10 if he let a goal in. But he made two or three brilliant saves. And like I said before, I'm trying Heineken for the first time for a long, long time. Now, we had McLaughlin. McLaughlin, Sanderson, 09, McFadzing. McLaughlin, 7, Sanderson, 7, 09, 6. Mad Fadzane 7, Winchester 6, Ledbitter 6, Gooch 6, Wyke, wasn't very good today, 5, McGeady 6. You know what, that sums it up. That sums it up, the performance today. But I ain't going to criticise the team. I ain't going to criticise anything about the side. Maguire came on, you know, we had Stewart who came on. It was one of those games where Lincoln were just fresher, fitter, and for me, wanted it more than Sunderland. And I, at the end of the day, I'm happy with the draw. I wish Lincoln all the best for the future. Lincoln, for me, were the better side today. And with the way the results have gone, I'm, I'm content with the point. I am content with the point. The games are catching up with Sunderland. We now have seven days rest for Lee Johnson to do something different. For Lee Johnson to get players fresh back from, back from injuries and... You know, I expect more next weekend. I'm going to be lenient with the players today because of the amount of games they played, but we're having a week off now, so I expect more next weekend. And if the season's wide open, 11 games to go. We're only five points behind Hull with two games at hand. We're level with Peterborough on the level of games. We have better goal difference. So, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy with the day. We're getting them one... Oh, yeah, I'm happy with the day. I'm over the moon with the day. I'm, I'm, you know, I say I'm over the moon, but when I watch the game, I kind of thought Lincoln could get that. And what a last gasp winner. So the dear, well done Lincoln City. You were the better side the dear. Thanks for watching the live stream. It's a bit of a poor review to be fair. Because it's been a bit of a poor match. A bit of a poor game. Thanks for watching it. As you can see. I've been decorating the room. It's going to be great tomorrow. We'll see the stairs white. So it's all white now. Baby it's an all white now. Hey. So don't forget, I'll probably do a video during the week about something kicking about somewhere. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Take care. I'm going to go now and enjoy the rest of the night on my last little beer. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. It's not all doom and gloom. It's actually good at the moment for Sunderland. We do look like we can get in the top two. I feel confident. Absolutely confident we will get promoted this weekend. Stay safe, take care, God bless. And again, thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks to the moderators on the live stream. And we'll see you during the week. Who got 1-1? One, one? I know there was one or two of yous who got 1-1. One, one. I almost went 1-1-1. One, 1-1 one, one. One, one in the Papa John's trophy. And now 1-1 one, one a day. See you later, take care. I wanted a win, but in the bigger picture, a draw wasn't that bad. And one more thing about this match today. How bad was the referee? He was an absolute joke today, this referee. Not just against Sunderland, but against Lincoln. He thought rugby... Yeah, I think he thought he was refereeing rugby rather than football. This guy 
doesn't deserve to referee a Sunday league match, never mind a league one match. Our, ref, our, our standards, the standards of refereeing has dropped so bad. Players are being dragged back, left, right and centre, are being fouled, hacked down, and the referee thought it was perfectly fine to let it go. But he wanted to go over to the corner flag to make sure the ball was positioned correctly in the corner spot. What can I say? This is the worst referee I have ever seen at the stadium of life. And I'm not being biased. It was bad on both sides. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Thanks for watching the video. Take care, everybody. Good luck, everybody. And good luck, Lincoln, for the rest of the season. Wish you well.